What's up guys? So today we are at Lock Raven Reservoir. What I got with me is a box camera. It is a Kodak Drownie number two model F camera. Um, they started production of these around the early 1900s. Um, this is the first camera to shoot 120 film. You could pick this up for under $10 back in the day. Um, it was a pretty cool camera. Today, in today's standards, it's not pretty, it's not very advanced, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna load some film up, take some photos, and see how they turn out. So this is the camera. Um, it doesn't have too many functions. Uh, what we got here is your aperture, and you have the choice of 16, um, 22, or 32, just by pulling that lever. Right here, you have the option between 160 or bulb, which leaves the shutter open. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load some Ilford HP5 Plus in this, and I'm gonna show you how to load it. Do is first we gotta pull this lever out like that, and then we open the back, and there's this huge cartridge in here that we pull out all together. There we go. This we can set down first. All right, so we got our cartridge here. Um, make sure you have an empty spool on the bottom. We insert our roll onto the top. That just snaps in. And we take the film and we wanna wind it all the way around the cartridge. And then we're gonna insert it right here on the top. Take that and then we want to roll it like this just to make sure it's locked in there just a little bit. Should be good. We're going to open up the back again, insert it top up like that, close the back and then you want to close this um, once it lines up to the pool in there, it'll close like that. And then we want to start winding, just like this. And what we're looking for is the number one, which will be our first picture in this red little viewfinder thing right there. So we're going to keep winding. We're going to see some arrows, which means the frame is coming up. Seeing some dots now larger dots it's all different for different films and then we have one right there and that's our first frame now we're ready to go take pictures all right so I got so I got the box camera set up on a tripod um, we're gonna be just going with some long exposures I'd rather trust that than the accuracy of the single shutter um, once, as these get older, sometimes it slows down, speeds up, it's unreliable. With bulb, we can know by timing ourselves how close we can get to the proper exposure. So I got this pulled up to F32, got this lifted up to bulb mode, and I'm going to take a reading with the light meter to see what the proper time is for this composition, and we'll go from there. All right, so we got our second exposure lined up. We got some pine trees, uh, nothing too fancy. Um, what I got here is I've wound it to the next frame. It says two here now in the red. We got an eight second exposure. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and see how it turns out. So it's gonna be an eight second exposure. So I got a timer set up. When I open the shutter, I'm going to press start so I can get somewhat accurate time, as close as I can, to expose this.
so we got our next shot set up. We got some grass, some dead overgrowth, this little stream running through the um, foreground. Should be pretty interesting. We won't find out till we develop it, but this will be our next shot. All right, so I really like this composition. It's starting to get darker out, which means I can do a longer exposure. Uh, I'm gonna wind it to the next frame. It's a little bit rough. So, there we go. And I'm gonna take my meter reading, which again, they make dedicated meters. I got my phone with me today. It works. Um, it's looking like a four second exposure. So you can see the shutter open when I flip this switch. Just to help give you guys a better idea. All right, so here we go. That's it. That's the picture. Hopefully that turns out. <laughs> Just because I really like this composition, I'm gonna do another one at five seconds and another one at three seconds. Just to bracket it so I make sure I get the frame right. We got Chris Pfeiffer over here who has been helping me film today. He also takes pictures. He makes short films. I'm gonna link his channel in the description below. You should subscribe to him. He does cool stuff too. So I got two frames left. I got this last composition. We're gonna try a portrait of Chris over there. It's getting darker. Gonna finish up this roll and then head out. 